In this video, we're going to take a look at Steinberg's Convolution Reverb plugin, Reverence. A Convolution Reverb allows us to load or import impulses that have been recorded inside different rooms or spaces. So basically, it gives us a natural recreation of the room's reflections. We can load these reflections as programs in the bank or the program matrix up here in the right hand side. We can even select to apply a crossfade as we move in between these different programs that we've got loaded. And that means that we can just quickly skim through various options that we have available to see how it fits over our sound. We can preview the impulse by clicking on this section here and then we can go down into the parameters or the EQ which is beside the parameters. We can make our changes and then store these changes as a program or a VST preset which can obviously be recalled at a later point in time. We can view the time domain of the impulse down in this main section here. We can move along a tab to see a spectrogram representation and then we can get some useful information in the information tab itself. So basically giving us a description of the impulse. Now down the bottom, we've got the important parameters. So the pre-delay is the time it takes before the actual reverb kicks in and moving the time scaling around will change the reverb time. To the right we've got size and this is the size of the space uh, that we're trying to simulate so we can basically move it up for a bigger room or move it down for a smaller space. The early response tail split means you can choose at which point the early response finishes and the tail starts and the early response mix means you can set up the relation between the early reflections and the tail. You can use the EQ section to apply low and high shells and of course adjust the EQ settings over your low, mid and high frequency range. Another really neat feature is the ability to reverse the tail which gives us a completely different type of impact in terms of reverence because instead of just trying to recreate different reflections in terms of how they would typically sound in a room, now we're using it more for sound design and we can come up with some really creative and unique effect types which wouldn't normally suit the usual application of trying to I guess recreate reflections over the top of say a lead vocal or a drum kit. The auto gain function will immediately analyze impulses and check the volume settings and then level them out so that as we're switching in between different programs we're not getting any level discrepancies. Because reverence is a convolution reverb, it can be processor heavy. So it pays to think about how you're actually using it inside of your track. It might be worth setting it up on an effects channel and creating sends from the tracks that you want to be impacted by reverence. Or if you want reverbs over multiple tracks, have a think about using something like Revelation, which is an algorithmic reverb. Finally, we've got a master volume and mix section inside Reverence. And of course, as with every plugin inside of Cubase, it's packed full of amazing presets, which contain different impulses that have been recorded in so many different types of spaces all around the world. And these are pristine presets and impulses, which are really going to help make your music production sound amazing. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. If you've liked the video, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos on plugins and everything to do with music production. I'm going to catch you there.